Do you ride BMX? Do you want to learn hop tail whips? Do you want me to make a tutorial for you to learn hop tail whips right now? No. First you gotta learn them fly out, then you have to learn them out of banks. And then you can do them into banks, and then you can do them hop. So before you get ahead of yourself, just sit back, relax, and watch this how-to on how to do tail whips out of banks. Because I promise you, that little process, sequence of learning fly out bank, in a bank, hop, will make them a million times easier, you'll be less frustrated with BMX, and then you won't quit and go to scootering. Hey guys, I'm Adam LZ, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to tail up out of banks. So I'm going to hope that you already know how to tail up out of flyouts. If you don't, I'll give you some tips for learning them out of banks, but I suggest that you learn flyout first. I understand that some people don't have flyouts near their homes, and yes, you can complain in the comments. Um, but I think flyouts are definitely the easiest way to learn because they require the least amount of energy and it's very easy to focus on what you need to learn. So today we're going to be working with banks. What's a bank? Um, a bank is a flat surface on an incline and because there's no transition it's much harder to get air. You actually have to bunny hop. You can't just go fast and get air. So doing a tail up out of a bank is a little bit different than a flyout. Um, hopefully, if you got your tail whips dialed out of flyout already, this will be a piece of cake for you. Um, this how-to will probably just be some comfort or just a little bit of motivation for you to go out and actually try them. When you go out of flyouts, you usually just push through and kick the whip, but when you do them out of uh, banks, you actually bunny hop. It's kind of like the motion for a bar spin. You bunny hop up, and then once you level out, that's when you kick the whip. If you've never tried it before, you're probably going to dead sailor, which is never fun. So you really have to remember to get the kick and follow through with the arms because you're going to dead sailor once or twice. Uh, that's not fun. No one likes a face full of wood, a face full of concrete, a face full of asphalt, a face full of dirt. Whatever you're trying it on, uh, if, you have, if you have dirt banks, that'd be sweet. You're going to want to hop out of the bank, like pull up, level out, and kick the whip. Um, you have much less time than you do in a flyout, and you're going to want to go decently fast so you have more air time. If you catch your whips in the air on flyout, banks are going to be really, really scary for you. Just because um, probably your first one, you're going to plop. Your bike might land before you. Uh, I remember the first one I landed. Oh man, I was trying so hard. I fell so many times. Like your feet are just going to keep missing the pedals. But really, it's a matter of commitment. So if you like have in your head, like, okay, I know I'm going to land the trick, you'll land it. So just tell yourself you're going to land it and put all your energy into it. Uh, pop in some headphones, listen to some music that gets you pumped. I know I like to listen to like like screamo, all that stuff that just makes your adrenaline go. Some people like to listen to rap music and pretend that they're potheads, or maybe they are. That's your own deal. But for me, I find that music that gets my adrenaline going really helps for learning tricks. So whatever, whatever music like you're really into, listen to that. Get a good amount of speed, um, more than you would to do any other trick out of the bank. And then you just got to make sure you pull up, kind of wait till you level out, kick the whip, follow through with your arms, and land it. Uh, you got to commit. Definitely wear shin guards, knee pads, ankle guards, cups, uh, shoulder pads, anything you can find in your mom's closet. Uh, just so when you fall, it won't really hurt. Put pillows on your butt. I don't care. Uh, it's a trick. It's really fun to learn. and. If you can not get hurt learning it, then that's awesome. I apologize if I'm talking too quick for you. A lot of people have been complaining that I talk too fast in my how-tos, so I'm trying to slow it down. So yeah, just remember, go up that ramp, pull up, kick, bring it around, clamp your feet, and you'll be good to go. Uh, if you've never learned whips before, you need more advice on whips, I suggest checking out my flyout tutorial. It's helped a ton of people learn the trick. So um, I'm going to stop being awkward and talking on the bench to a camera by myself with all these weird people looking at me. And I'm going to go ride my bike and try to get some clips. So uh, once again, I'm Adam LZ. This is really awkward. And thanks for watching my video. Subscribe and all that stuff. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Hi guys, I'm Taylor Swift and I'm going to teach you how to shake it off. I don't like water. Yeah. you can. Once you start doing them down stair sets and stuff, it'll be way better to be able to catch cranks than to be able to catch pedals once out of every 10 times and get a million chitters. Um, catching cranks is kind of, I don't know, some people like it, some people don't, but it's really consistent and if you look at my website, I typically catch cranks.